So welcome to another Java program tutorial and in this tutorial I'm be showing you how to generate random numbers and what this will do is it will ge generate a random number between 0 and the number you choose so let me show you how it's done first what we're going to do is create an integer and let's call it random because you know it's random and then put it equal to int uh, it's going to have a cost with int um, math Dot, dot random like in the previous tutorials it's very similar and then we put uh, brackets after it times by five for now and then put a semicolon so basically we're gener we're creating a variable simple stuff uh, it's an int telling you that it's an int again and then here math dot random is a method and that's just going to generate a random number and put it inside of this variable random and we do times 5 so that it becomes between 0 and 5 so what we're going to do now is just uh, display this number so system dot out dot print ln brackets semicolon the random number is and then what we're going to do is plus random so that's going to just put the random number is colon space and then put uh, the random number so you save it run the random number is 4 3 0 3 1 0 3 you get the idea so I'm just going to put this up to 10 just that we've got more numbers to work with and then six, eight, zero. So at the moment it's going between zero and nine. If, even though we put ten here, it's going between zero and nine. The reason is, like with the arrows, um, with arrows, they start at zero, and that means they'll end one lower than ten. So to get around this, what we can do is do random, if you can spell it, equals random plus one. So basically, this will add 1 to whatever the random number is. So if the random number is 0, it will make it 1. If the random number is 9, it will make it 10. If the random number is 5, it will make it 6. 7 will become 8. 8 will become 9. So you get, you get the idea. So if we run it, 9, 10, 8, 3, 10, 5. So you get the idea. You cannot get 0 anymore and you can get 10. So what about if we wanted to uh, randomly select a name or randomly select something from an array? Well we'd have to remove this because if we were to do that then the first item in the array wouldn't come up at all because we're adding one. Because remember array starts at zero as well and it would be impossible to get to array number zero. So what we're going to put here is we're just going to create an array and I never actually went over string arrays, which I should have. I only went over integer arrays in the arrays tutorial. So what we're going to do is string, and then square brackets to say it's an array, and call it names, because we'll put a list of names inside this. And then what we're going to do is do names equals new string, and then put square brackets after it. And then here, we've put how many they're going to be. So we're going to put five names in. Then afterwards, we're going to put names and then zero. So in slot zero, we're going to set this equal to Ben. Uh, let's just copy and paste this. Four, five, and we'll put slot one, slot two, three, oops, slot four. And remember, this ends at four because we still have got five in it because we're including zero as well. So this is going to be Ben, Bob, Bill, Tim, and Tom. Just like that. So if we save that and run, oh wait, hang on, we still need to stop it from generating random numbers. So what we've got to do is change this to 5, because we don't have 10 arrays, we've got 5 instead. So that's going to generate uh, between 0 and 4. And then here we're going to change the random 
name is and random. So, and uh, names, then here we're going to do random. So basically, what this will do is the random number will be put into this variable random, and then what we'll do is we'll put that random number that's chosen into here. So if it's one, then it will go over to here and say, okay, that's Bob, display Bob. Uh, if it's three, it'll go, uh huh, that's Tim, let's display Tim. So save that and run it. The random name is Bob. The random name is Ben. Tom. Ben. Bill. So you get the idea pretty much now. Tim still hasn't come up. There, there, there's Tim, just to prove it works. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial.